Uh, Today, uh, the Espanol family, right? We made brown sauce, we made brown stock, one of the mother sauces, Espanol. Espanol, brown stock, plus brown uh, roux, plus tomato paste, usually. All right, there's, there's our mother sauce. And again, from every mother sauce comes a cascade of smaller sauces. I posted on Moodle and I sent you guys an email to a, a mother sauces tree that I created, so that should help you as well. Excuse me. Uh, sauces from the Espanol family are generally very rich, full bodied, as opposed to a fish stock, which would be thin, whiter. These things made from brown roux and brown stock, a lot deeper, a lot richer, a lot more texture, a lot more body to the sauces that come from Espanol. And as you would imagine, the brown sauces with tomato paste and heavy flavoring, this isn't something that you put on a very delicate bland item. This is something that goes on beef and veal and lamb and game. It's a very strong flavored sauce. So we're not gonna take a little white piece of tilapia and put a heavy brown sauce with tomato paste and stuff on it. It would totally change the flavor of the fish. Something of a stronger flavor. Most often, Espanol brown sauces are, made, are, are used to make demi-glace and julie. Demi-glace becomes an ingredient in the kitchen for the professional chef as much as anything is. So you make a brown sauce, we make demi-glace from the brown sauce, the demi-glace is then used to make some of the smaller sauces. So what is demi-glace? It's used to make the small sauces. It's half brown sauce, half brown stock, reduced by half. Easy to remember how to make a demi-glace. Half brown stock, half brown sauce, reduced by half. When you reduce something in half the volume, you're evaporating liquid from it, you're condensing and intensing, intensifying the flavors. And actually, if you start out with a really good gelatin-based stock, when you're done with demi-glace, you should be able to cut it into cubes like jello and literally bounce it off the table. It gets so gelatinized, it gets so rubbery from all the, the uh, marrow in the bones that you have taken that stock, which we see in the refrigerator is wiggly wiggly. Imagine reducing that by half that really intensifies the gelatinization, uh, the, the gelatin in there, the collagen through heat and moisture that turns into gelatin. So now you have like little cubes of things that are an extremely intensely fa flavored brown sauce. You can take these and just drop them into sauces. And I've seen people make demi-glace and keep it in their refrigerator, refrigerator or their freezer for a good amount of time. It turns into an ingredient. From our Espanol sauce, we can also make julie. Now julie is a much quicker, easier process than demi-glace. Demi-glace can take hours to simmer that down. Of course, depending on how much you have. You fill in a gigantic stock pot you know, with half brown sauce, half brown stock, reduce it by half, it's gonna take hours to evaporate a gallon or two. Put a little sauce pot together, won't take as long, less liquid. What it is is brown sauce re-thickened. So demi-glace is really done by reduction, evaporation of the moisture out of the sauce. Julie is done by adding a, an additional roux to an already brown sauce. And again, the object is to make something very thick, very flavorful, very intense. This is a shortcut. This is a much shorter way to do these things. Today, we're gonna make demi-glace the real way. Uh, we're not gonna bother much with Julie because it really is a, like I said, a, a backdoor kind of shortcut for making things, all right? 
Uh, the uh, family tree that I sent you as well has all the uh, small sauces. I've asked you also to bring in your index cards with small sauces today. Uh, so what we're going to do is just like we did on Monday, we're going to get back there, take out our brown sauce, make as many small sauces as we can. You guys inspired me on Monday, by the way. I went home and I made Nantua sauce. <laughs> I haven't made that in a long time. Watching you guys do it, I was like, oh, I got some fish here. I got a little bit of shrimp. Made Nantua sauce. I love when I get inspired by everyone. Uh, so today uh, is taking those brown sauces in there, the brown so the espanol that we have, turning them into smaller sauces. First thing we're going to do is clean up a bunch of fish, get the fish stock started, get our fish fillets. Um, has everyone cleaned fish in the 121 class? Everybody have a boning knife? Yeah. 